Hey guys, um, today I'm going to explain conditional clauses type 1 for you. Uh, we'll go over what it is again, the form, I'll let you see what to do when you have to do an assignment uh, with this topic, and of course we'll practice a little bit as well. Um, let's dig in with the what question first. Okay, so what is a conditional clause uh, again? Um, a conditional clause is a sentence that has a condition and a consequence in it. Um, let me give you an example. Um, for instance, the sentence, if I see you here again, I will call the police. The condition, the for verde, is if I see you here again. Only if that happens, then the other part will happen as well. Um, and then the other part is the consequence, the consequence, I will call the police. Um, in a conditional clause, it doesn't have to be um, that the condition comes first and then the consequence. It can be the other way around as well. So it can also be, I will call the police if I see you here again. Um, so you want to really figure out which part is the condition for the other part, um, which is quite easy to do because the part of the condition in it will always start with the word if or um, one of the other words in that category. Uh, another couple of words that can be there are, for instance, when and unless, um, and those are the most common ones already. Um, so that's basically what you're always on the lookout for when you're doing conditional clauses, and mainly we'll ask you to fill in the verb forms in conditional clauses. Um, so you need to figure out which part is the condition and which part is the consequence. Okay, let's move on to the form then, because that's where that becomes relevant. Okay, so there are two parts in the sentence, the condition part and the consequence part. The condition part we always recognize because it starts with if, unless, and when. Um, and if it's a type one, and that's the only type you need to know right now, then it will have a present simple in that part. So any verb that's there needs to be in the present simple. Um, the other part, the consequence part, will have will plus verb. Um, the form is very similar to what you've learned for future simple. So if you're not sure about that anymore, I recommend that video. Uh, but it's just will plus full verb. That's the whole deal, really. Um, so let's look at another example. Uh, next time when we meet each other, we will have a drink. The consequence part is when we meet each other. It starts with the word when. Uh, if we look at the verb in that part, we see meet. And meet is indeed the present simple of to meet. The other part is then the consequence. So we will have a drink is the consequence of us meeting again. Uh, and then in there, indeed, we see will plus full verb will have. Um, and that's the trick. So when we make you do assignments with this, that's exactly what we're on the lookout for. So let's do one together so I can show you how it works. Quite often, you'll get something like sentence number one there. If Sandra dot 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 why she dot 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 her mother. Um, the assignment will say that you have to use type one um, because there are other types. And sometimes if we do this on our intuition, uh, we may mistake the types. Um, in this case, you have to use type one. Okay, so what do you do? Step one, you find which part is the condition and which part is the consequence. Condition part is if Sandra wise, because it starts with if. Uh, the other part is then a consequence, she, her mother. Um, then we think about what we know about the form. So if it's something is the condition part and it's type one, then the verb in that part needs to be present simple. So to be has to be the present simple of to be, which is is for Sandra. It's usually she, right? She is. The other part then needs to have will plus verb. So for to help, we use will help. Uh, the full sentence then becomes, if Sandra is wise, she will help her mother. Uh, and that's the whole deal. So always find out which part is a consequence and this part is a condition. Uh, then uh, think of, okay, if it's type one, condition needs present simple, consequence needs will plus verb. Um, if we then carry on to this slide, I have come up with five sentences for you guys. Um, please practice, try and fill them in at home. And then when you're ready, um, press pray again in this video. So pause me for now and do the assignment. You have started me again, so I assume that you've, you're done. Uh, let's have a look at the answers. Okay, um, for each of the sentences, we're going to try and figure out which part is the condition part and which part is the consequence part. In sentence one, um, I see the word if in the first part of the sentence, so that means that that is our condition part. Uh, so we need our present simple there. If you send this parcel now, um, and then in the other part, we want will plus verb, he will receive it next week, because that's our consequence part. In sentence two, again, it starts with the condition part and ends with the consequence part, because I see if in the first part. 
but it means I use my present simple in the first part if I do my homework, and I use my will plus verb in the second part. I will improve my English. In sentence three, again, first condition, then consequence, because I see the word when. Uh, so first present simple again, when we find your coat, and then in the consequence part, will plus verb, we will give it back to you. In sentence four, I find myself with the reverse of it. So first consequence, then condition. I can see that because in the second part of the sentence, where I have to fill in the second verb, it says if. Um, so the first part is now my consequence. That means I need to fill in will plus verb, will go. And then after the if, um, F present simple, if she has time. Uh, in sentence five, again, see if is in the middle of my sentence. That means the second part of my sentence is the condition and the first part is a consequence. So uh, in uh, the first part, we get will go. So will, will go. Um, and then in the second part, I get my present simple, gets. Uh, and that's the whole deal. Uh, if you want to practice more, because this was only five sentences and that's not a whole lot. Um, this is probably a good one, uh, the Eagle for You one. Um, if you Google it, conditional sentences type one, Eagle for You, it'll come up. Uh, and then you can click it or you can copy it from here because you can't click it in YouTube. Um, okay. uh, that's the whole story for today. I'm going to flip over to our end screen. There you go. Um, there we go. Uh, remember all of these things, especially don't stress, learn from your mistakes, learn from each other, always ask your questions and speak as much English as you can. And oh yeah, by the way, if you're here anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Um,